Hi, if you're finding this video, this is part two uh, of episode one of the bad badge i almost just lost my complete mind there uh this is this is part two so if you haven't seen part one go find go find part one um but i had to split this video up into two parts so this is the second part so let's go i'm so scared of what their mission's gonna be I can't tell from this distance. Something's it's not like gonna be droids Like, so obviously it's hurtful that the Jedi have had their clones turn against them. But these clones also aren't being trusted by anyone. Tarkin said instead, we're not alone. Now stand down. Yes, good. Take a, take a sniper from him. Take it. Don't let him have it. No, oh, there's a Godel. I see a Godel. Because we refuse to fight for an empire. Ooh, shit. You're Saul Guerrera. Yeah, he is. Trained by Captain Rex and General Skywalker to fight for the Republic. Oh, he looks so badass here. They're being watched by someone. Whether it's someone spying on them on their own side, or. Yep, the Empire's watching them. Tarkin is watching. What's wrong with you? Me. I'm following orders. Exactly. Those I mean... plotting against the Emperor. If you don't have the stomach to do what needs He is right when he says good soldiers follow orders, but the Bad Batch have never followed orders. I wonder if he gets his chip removed eventually. Oh, oh god, I thought he was Oh, I thought that was You're being followed. I thought he was shooting crosshair. It was like, oh, well, that's a bit rash, but okay. They're taking the words of a child now. I would not discount God, I do love the way crosshair speaks. A state of heightened awareness is not unusual for an enhanced clone. You, you're coming with me. We will not. We are official Kemino. Don't touch me, Troy. Oh no! Oh god, this is so bad if I'm going back. I get why they're doing it, but oh. This is unusual. Let's find out what's going on. It's always the Coruscant guards. Always. I warned you not to come back. Had to. Damn, the clones in these outfits, though. <laughs> Me. What do you say, kid? We can debate my choices later. For now, let's focus on getting out of here. Either they leave him behind, or they find Rex and Rex take us out his chip, or something. I know it's not your fault. You can't help it. Is she force? She's not force sensitive, right? No, 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 no. We stay together. Oh. Stand down. Can you intensify the programming? Yes. What? No. Tarkin, you bad, bad man. Like I'm all for the Empire, but like clones still have my heart. <laughs> They're literally frying his brain. He's gonna be given orders to execute anyone who commits treason, so he's gonna try and kill these guys. I've got it. Why didn't I think of it before? Not suspicious at all. Hit this here. Right. <laughs> We're gonna go full dark trooper, just boom, boom. Boom, boom, uh oh. Tell me when. Here I am. <laughs> <Hi, Rex. laughs> nice. Like as as much as I hate seeing clones getting sh like hurt like that, 
I'm glad it was the chorus on guard. <laughs> Justice for my bi for my boy fives. I don't have any hatred for them, but I'd rather them than you know anyone else. <laughs> the hangar. Your gear might be there too. This way. I mean, I kind of like those outfits. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> Especially on Hunter, I don't know. Tech, power up the ship. Damn, they got they got dressed quickly. Cosplayers can only dream. Is that crosshair? The music's making this so much more sad, like so much more sadder than it should be. Have you lost your mind? Yeah. We should have killed that Jedi. Now surrender. He's terrifying. Oh my god, especially with that voice as well. I guess I'm disobeying that one too. Well, it's treason then. Oh my god, this is a hell of standoff. Oh. Oh my god, the armor. Oh. Wrecker, get your ass up right now. Seal the bay doors. Sir, someone's overriding the controls. What? When I say go, you head for that ramp and don't stop. Holy shit. I told you she's a badass. Holy fuck. I, f I do feel bad for Crosshair because I mean, it's not his fault. He's following orders, but he just lost all his friends. <sighs> Dude, I love that she helped them. She... She obviously just cares for the kid. Has the matter been rectified? Is this what you were looking for? Oh, you found my Lula! Oh! <laughs> Impressive shot back there. Where'd you learn to do that? I don't know. I never fired a blaster before. I guess I got lucky. She's force 100% force sensitive. She has to be. A blaster shot to take me down. <laughs> you were down. I will not <laughs> That would be a short list. Friends. I can think of one. Rex. Blood, of course, for J-19. J-19? We know a guy. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, you do. Strap in, kid. You're not gonna want to miss this view. Oh, I like they gave her front seat and everything. <laughs> Please tell me this isn't the end of the episode. This is totally gonna- they're gonna end it. They're gonna end it. <sighs> and cut to credits. God damn it! God damn it! <sighs> okay, so I have so many things to say. I don't know where to start. I- Oh, that was a great episode. I feel like we've been spoiled, like, with such a long episode to begin with. Because now every other episode is just gonna be, like, what- 20 30 minutes and we're gonna be expecting so much more like what we just had and we're not gonna get that but it was nice to actually you know have that length of episode um but oh my god so it was kind of obviously suspected the crosshair was you know gonna gonna go bad um he was gonna follow his orders and he did uh which you know you can't you can't disrespect him for he got orders he followed them you can't disrespect that at all um Obviously, it sucks that it had to be against, you know, his best friends. Um, but good good, good soldiers do follow orders. I do strongly, you know, agree with that. He didn't have a choice. Uh, just like none of the clones had a choice. Um, except for a couple of the lucky ones. 
Um, so now they're going to have to deal with um, his badass snipery. Snipe, is that even a word? His badassery sniper skills. Um, they're going to have to deal with that on the run. Um, but we know they're going to go find Rex and then everything's going to be fine. And then hopefully that will lead us into finding... Uh, Rex finding Wolf and Gregor. That would be really nice. Um, but I was not expecting to see young Cannon. No, it didn't look like Cannon. If they hadn't have said that, if they hadn't have said, oh, Caleb, I would not have guessed that, that was Cannon. I mean, the voice, maybe, the voice was very deep for a Padawan, but it did sound like Cannon. But at the same time, it didn't look like him. But we still got to see his point of view, so I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna just lead with that. Uh, we um we got to see Kanan uh escaping, and you know it was nice. It's it's nice that they chose Kanan of all people, uh, because we saw him really quickly in Clone Wars season seven, uh, where he was just standing around like the table. Uh, but we haven't actually seen his past. We know about it from Rebels. Um, so I really like that. I did really like that. I also. I love seeing more perspectives of Order 66. Like, I think that's what we need. But at the same time, it's like, come on. How many of these do we need? <laughs> like, it's just so upsetting every time. Um, but I do like that we're getting more of that. Um, hopefully, you know, one day we'll see Grogu's uh, uh, escaping. Grogu escaping from Order 66. But, well, you know, we'll get to that when it comes to it. But speaking of Grogu, why is it that every Star Wars character just... They all just seem to love kids, except for Anakin. This is where I kind of side with Anakin on this. Like, he didn't give a shit. But, like, you have... Uh, you've got Din uh, with Grogu. You have Hunter with Omega, which I'll speak about Omega in a second. You also have, like... Um Obviously, Rex with Ahsoka, kind of, she's not as young as what they would be, like, as what the other kids would be, but she, he's still very protective of her. Uh, you have Waxer and Boyle uh, with uh, Numa. Um, and there's there's probably plenty of others that I'm not able to think of. Um, but it's just, they find a kid, and they choose to protect that kid that they've never met in their life. They protect that kid with their whole entire life. <laughs> And then they just take it on like their own. Like, this is just a recurring thing in Star Wars now. And I'm okay with it, but I would side with Anakin on this one. I get out my lightsaber and... Choof, choof. Anyway, don't need to talk about that. Omega's really cool. I think she's really nice. I, I'm excited to see where it goes. I feel like she's Force-sensitive. She has to be. Either she's really quick at learning, like, either she watched the way, like, uh, Hunter and all them used the blaster and she learned really really quickly and just kind of like followed what they did and she just shot them or she's force sensitive because she was like oh it just kind of happened a force sensitive female clone who ends up with a night sister bow i am okay with it i am here for it um i think she's cool i'm excited to see where her story goes um and i like that she's hopefully gonna be a big part a big part of it um, so yeah, I assume eventually we're going to see Vader as well. I know we're going to see Rex and stuff soon. Hopefully Ahsoka. I, I don't know if we will see Ahsoka because I feel like, uh, her and Rex will have already split ways by this stage. Um, and yeah, I, I, I really enjoyed this episode and I'm really excited for the next one. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know your, uh, your thoughts on Omega. Is she force sensitive or is she just really good? Is she just like a really advanced clone of some kind um and yeah let, let me let me know what you guys think so uh thank you so much for watching i don't know how many parts this is going to be split into um so please bear with the uploads but thank you guys for watching and peace